organization will be walking this weekend to raise awareness about mental health. And you are invited to join. And joining us this morning to talk about the walk uh, is, uh, excuse me, the work that NAMI Northern Kentucky's walk is going to do is Executive Director Danae Edelin. Danae, thank you for being here. First of all, appreciate you so much. Oh, I'm so excited to be a part of this, um, both Jen and Bob. This is wonderful. Thank you for having me here on your show. Oh, we're is, pleased. Uh, yeah, so so uh, this is kind of a dream come true for me. Well, thank you for having or coming. We It's important for us to, you know, we were talking to you about the mission of ARC, which is authentic, relevant, and community-driven, you know, to get to get out into the community and, and let people know things that are going on in the community. And one of the things that's important to me is mental health. And NAMI has been an organization that has helped my family in many different ways. So for people who don't know, could we start with letting people know what NAMI stands for and what it is? Oh, sure. Na NAMI is the nation's largest grassroots organization that focuses on mental health. Um, so I am, I've been hospitalized five times uh, and um, I'm unusual. I was actually an outlier. Most people have mental illness symptoms when they are in puberty, after a baby or older in life. So I, I was in my 40s, I was married, I had a child, I was on our little piece of heaven in Cincinnati, Ohio, and had a psychotic break due to work. So I'm a little bit of an outlier. But NAMI was a lifesaver for me. There are kind of two roles in NAMI. There's a person struggling with the mental illness and there's the caregiver. Mm -hmm. My husband was the caregiver. So NAMI is nationwide. We're like McDonald's. If you go anywhere in the country, <laughs> all 50 there's states, enough. there's a NAMI affiliate statewide as well as local affiliates and it's grassroots. I mean NAMI's bread and butter is lived experience and so NAMI has support groups for both the caregiver and someone like me. NAMI also has classes for the, for the caregiver and someone like me. And so we are, uh, like I said, it was founded in the 1970s by two mothers whose sons were schizophrenics, and they were told that it was due to bad parenting. Oh, goodness. So that is a part of the mental illness stigma that we right. are trying to overcome. So, uh, and we all know, I mean, I didn't think about mental health until it happened to me. Right. Nobody thinks about mental health that it happened to me. Now, due to COVID, we've all had a taste of mental illness, mm -hmm. right? The loneliness, the isolation that can, and depression that can lead to suicidal thoughts. So we've all had a taste of it. And I'm excited to say that the younger generations are willing, more willing to talk about so, it. Yes, yeah. and, and, and I think that is so important. And yeah. one month, maybe, a small good thing that came from COVID is more people are aware of it and, and able to talk about it. Yeah, and with events like the walk coming up, you can you can help pay for some of those classes and do some of the other things. So let's talk about what the walk does. What 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 the, services come out of the walk? Okay, the, the the services that come out of the walk are the support groups, are the classes, um, are. Um, uh, one of the programs we're working on a strategic plan for NAMI to, to be able to have something like a day program for the severe mentally ill in Northern Kentucky. There's one in Cincinnati called Queen City Clubhouse. So that's an idea as well. So it's really our, we're kind of a wraparound services for the mental health for the family. I mean, there are other organizations that focus more on community, kind of more thin services, but we go deep into family. Okay. I mean, I learned all about, I'm, psycho I'm bi diagnosed bipolar with psychotic features. I learned all about my, my, my diagnosis. I learned all about coping mechanisms. Uh, I learned all about you know sleep, the importance of sleep, diet, exercise, creative outlets, productive work, tribe, all of that. Well, and am I right that a lot of these programs are free to the families? Absolutely, right. they're all free. And that's what my family. My brother was diagnosed with schizophrenia, and and you know, like you said, you, you don't know about it until you it know about it you. until it happens. And I know Nami helped my parents tremendously with you know, learning more about this and, and resources and that type of thing. So it's really an incredible organization. And do you find that doing things like this, like the walk to help raise money to fund your programs, does that help reduce the stigma? Every time we do this and talk about it. Absolutely. We have more than doubled the amount of people and resources that are donating to our walk this year. So it's a very exciting for me. I'm the new executive director here in Northern Kentucky. Congratulations. I'm, I'm new to the area, so I'm trying to learn it. Uh, and, um, but I'm so excited to be here as, as a friend of mine says, we put pain to purpose. Mm -hmm. You know, wow, that's um, what I'm trying to do is make sure that future generations don't have to go through the train wreck that my family did. Yeah. 
you know, and so, and this year's walk, if, if we could go yeah, into please, that, let's it's October know. 12th at Pioneer Park. Families, please come, but please register. <laughs> oh, there's a QR yeah. code there at the very bottom of the screen. Right, right. So please register um, because we'll have games for kids and food. Uh, La Rosa's is generously donating the pizza for the walk. And, and we have a number of, 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 of sponsors as well as um, our walk this year is very special. Our walk is in dedication for Derek Roden. He was a young man that went to Brossard High School. He was a basketball player, but he also had severe mental illness, and he wrestled with his, his mental illness. His brother, Nick Roden, is our community chair, oh, okay. and we have representations of five uh, five or six, let me say, local police stations. It's actually the crisis intervention team uh, program, which is a the police-based training, crisis intervention team, is the police-based training that teaches people, police officers, how to handle someone who is severely is mentally break, yeah. ill. Okay. And so the CIT program has partnered with us on our walk, and we've got six police stations that are going to have police cruisers there. That is just wonderful. So and so we were at the we were at the park yesterday working out the logistics of where we're going to put them, and they're going to be on the grass, you know. Anyway. Yeah. A uh, lot of lot of details, as you well, can imagine. Is there a registration fee or no? Uh, no, you know, just register. Just register. Just register, so we can have enough pizza for you. There we yeah. go. Okay. No, how many people are coming? <laughs> and, and come and find about all the great resources that that they right. Have. So we'll this have a, Saturday. Yeah. yeah. What what is the time? Nine o'clock. Nine. Right. Nine to two. Okay. And we'll get a link to your website on ours at local12.com. Yeah. That, that would be perfect. Thank and you so much. Nami, for uh, Northern Kentucky. Nami, where, Northern Kentucky. Where people could find more information well, as well. More information. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All Thank right. you so much for all the work that you're doing and for sharing your story and uh, for getting information about the walk out there. Yeah. Delighted to do it. Have a great walk. Yes. The weather's going to be. Weather's so going to be great. Perfect. Wow. Well, yeah. We're perfect. Cross our fingers on that one. You'll be good. Be Knock good. on wood. Oh, there we go. Okay. <laughs> uh, it is 8:27. Uncovering mysteries of the great beyond. We chat with a local tarot card reader about how you. You can learn to read these colorful cards. Stay with us. Hey there, thanks so much for visiting the Local 12 YouTube channel. Click the links, hit subscribe to get notified anytime we post content to this channel.